What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including 2K23 details and leaks, morale sinks to a new low in WWE, Triple H bringing back a tag team, Bobby Lashley wants Brock Lesnar again, a wrestling legend appears in Karrion Cross's video and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at morale sinking in WWE to a new low. At top of today's news is a report that morale is down in WWE. While this might seem like a no-brainer given the return of Vince McMahon after months of fans and wrestlers being happy under the regime of Stephanie, Triple H and Nick Khan, there's more to the story than you might have heard. Apparently, former WWE co-CEO Stephanie McMahon had some major misgivings about Papa Vince's return to the company and expressed them with WWE staffers. According to Fightful Sean Ross Sapp, Stephanie McMahon led an employee meeting on January 6th where she admitted there's naturally some animosity before correcting the term to angst regarding some feelings about Vince McMahon forcing his way back in. Much of Stephanie McMahon's own team was dismantled in major cuts during the pandemic. Despite Vince McMahon's statement he was happy with his existing team, Stephanie abruptly resigning, leading to Nick Khan becoming sole CEO and Mr. McMahon taking his place as WWE Chairman. Sap reported on backstage reaction to Stephanie's exit. The general consensus that we gauged was uncertainty of what a move like this actually means. One talent heavily stressed that they believe Vince McMahon taking over creative duties would lead to public frustration from the roster. Another source said that they are hopeful this means a sale is coming. There have been all sorts of anecdotes about how popular Stephanie is in WWE and how respected she is in the business community. Current Raw superstar The Miz spoke with TMZ about how Stephanie has helped wrestlers. I feel like she's always been one of the people you can go to talk to. I remember when she was head of creative when I first got to WWE, I ran an idea by her. It was called a dirt sheet before YouTube was really a cool thing. It was a show that me and my tag partner really wanted to do and we couldn't get it going. So we went to Stephanie. I pitched her the idea and she said, we're going to do it. And she literally gave us the freedom to do it and it created one of the models of what WWE's YouTube channel is today. The Miz's story shows Stephanie's willingness to let wrestlers think outside the box. The dirt sheet helped The Miz and John Morrison step into the spotlight, becoming a popular tag team and paving the way for The Miz to rise to the main event. The Miz talked up the dirt sheet's impact, saying, That one thing turned into one of the biggest YouTube channels. John Morrison and myself started the dirt sheet, which was basically the first show on YouTube for WWE. She was the reason behind all that happening. As fans know, the WWE's YouTube videos are a popular way for fans to access content from matches as well as behind the scenes. Stephanie's willingness to give The Miz and Morrison a chance led to one of its most popular features, a reminder of how companies can grow their audience if they're willing to try new things and consider wrestler suggestions. Next up, 2K announced WWE 2K23 release date, cover star details and even leaked screenshots. A 2K has made it official, John Cena is the cover star for 2K23. However, that's just the tip of the iceberg as 2K tweeted information about the game's release and the various editions. See John Cena, beat John Cena, be even stronger than John Cena. Wrestling News' Andrew Ravens commented on the 2K release, there will be a standard, deluxe and icon editions. Fans can now pre-order WWE 2K23 and begin playing the game three days early on March 14th. 2K has the following details listed on its website regarding the differences in each edition. The 2K23 Icon Edition includes 3-day early access starting March 14, 2023, Bad Bunny Bonus Pack, Playable Bad Bunny Character, 1 Ruby Bad Bunny My Faction Card, Season Pass Access, plus 5 DLCs, My Rise Mega Booster Supercharger, and 1 Ruby John Cena My Faction Evo Card. Screens even leaked on the Amazon website with pictures of John Cena, Drew McIntyre vs Roman Reigns in what seems like the War Games setting and the War Games match has been confirmed. Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Bobby Lashley. What do you guys think? Are you going to get the game? If so, which edition are you getting? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Bobby Lashley wants Brock Lesnar in a big bout. A Bobby Lashley is fighting Austin Theory for the US Championship, but don't think for a minute that the almighty has forgotten about his score with Brock Lesnar. Lashley and Lesnar clashed at Crown Jewel with the two-time WWE Champion coming up short in his quest for revenge on Lesnar for costing him his reign as US Champion. However, Bobby spoke with the Hindustan Times about wanting to get his hands on Lesnar and not just in any match. I like the kind of contest where it can make me push myself. I like to fight. Brock likes to fight. 
There's a lot of similarities between the two of us, so I think that the next matchup is what everybody wants to see will be no holes barred. It's probably going to come to a point where we're going to get locked in a cage or an extreme rules match or something like that, but it's about to happen. Although Bobby and Brock's first two matches were regular bouts, they were both slobber knockers, especially their match at Crown Jewel where Lesnar managed to steal a win after being dominated by Lashley. The idea of a stipulation match makes you wonder just how much both superstars will raise the ante when they both lock up again. The Lashley vs Lesnar program has plenty of potential and it's a refreshing change from Lesnar's 2021 and 2022 matches with Roman Reigns, a series that was all about putting Roman over and grew tedious. It's unknown if WWE plans on continuing Lashley vs Lesnar after their third match, especially with rumours that Brock could face Intercontinental Champion Gunther at WrestleMania. Next up, WWE bringing back former tag team champions. Add Ekam and Reza to the ever-growing list of released superstars who WWE is reportedly interested in bringing back. Ekin and Reza worked as the authors of Pain or AOP once Vince decided to shorten their name, and they were a promising power team that captured the NXT Tag Team Championship under the tutelage of Road Warriors former manager Precious Paul Ellering. While the WWE didn't keep Ellering around for AOP's main roster run, they still captured the Raw Tag Team Championship and were pushed strong, including a high-profile program with Seth Rollins on Raw during his Monday Night Messiah storyline. Unfortunately, a string of injuries plagued their main roster run and the team was released in 2020. Now, Fightful Select is reporting, Ekam and Reza, collectively known as the authors of Pain or AOP, have been discussed for a potential return to WWE. In addition, the possibility of their longtime original manager Paul Ellering was also discussed. He managed them during their NXT run before being abandoned on the main roster. The duo remained close with Ellering and got his blessing to name themselves the Legion of Pain outside WWE. There were originally rumours Ellering didn't want to do the main roster travel, which he's refuted. Fans have seen Triple H bring back various superstars who were successful in NXT but failed to get over on the main roster and subsequently released. More than a few fans have argued that the game has brought these wrestlers back and give them an opportunity they never had under Vince McMahon. You never know who Triple H is going to bring back and with the Royal Rumble just days away, expect to see some returning superstars at the men's and women's match. Would you guys like to see AOP return? If so, should the WWE bring back their manager Paul Ellering? Next up, a wrestling legend appears in Karrion Cross's video. A wrestling legend and grappler who should be familiar to WCW fans recently appeared in a video alongside Karrion Cross and Scarlett. In case you haven't watched them, Karrion Cross has his own YouTube video where he uploads cinematic videos to promote his character. A recent video featured Cross showing up outside a church where he approached a priest played by Kevin Sullivan. Cross sought the old man's help in finding a page to a book that would help him perform some sort of ritual. The priest warned Cross against walking down a dark path and the two exchanged words, with Cross hinting at the priest's own dark past. Of course, anyone familiar with Kevin Sullivan's wrestling career knows he worked a gimmick in championship wrestling from Florida as a leader of a quasi-satanic cult and later in WCW as a taskmaster, a cult-like leader of a group of heels. Sullivan referred to Cross by his real name Kevin before Scarlett showed up and wooed Cross away. It's unknown if this was a one-off appearance for Sullivan and whether the WWE will incorporate any elements from the video into Cross's current storyline with Rey Mysterio or any future programs. Finally, did Sting wrestle his last match in Japan? Last but not least, has Sting wrestled his last match in Japan? The Sting recently wrestled in Japan alongside Darby Allin and the Great Muta as part of the Great Muta's retirement tour. Ringside News reported that the trio squared off against Akira Hakushi and Naomichi Marafuji in the main event of the Great Muta final bye-bye on January 22nd. The Great Muta is scheduled to wrestle his final match on 23rd February, but according to Sting, this may be his last match in Japan. Pro Wrestling Noah tweeted a video of Sting and Muta along with this message. Sting says maybe this is bye-bye Japan for him. Great Muta urged him to return. You may recall previous reports that 2023 looks to be Sting's last year in the squared circle and that he hopes to end his career on a high note. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.